Hello everyone, this is the Mayor of Gaming, and today we are playing Tom Sparks in the Quakes of Ruin. This is a new series that is very similar to an old series, with a little change to it. Um, I call this Steam Stoplight, mainly because you have S followed by another S and it sounds kind of neat, um, but also because... Uh, pretty much I'm just going to be looking at Steam Greenlight Games and uh, see what's worth, uh, you know, taking a look at. Um, at the end I'll explain everything, you know, what I think, all that good stuff. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the game proper. This is an alpha demo, so you know, things might change. It's on Kickstarter, which I have heard failed, but they're still continuing on with the project. And, uh, of course, it is on Greenlight. Um, so let's get to it. Oh, we have loading screens. I guess that's a plus. Visuals aren't bad. Okay, so I'm guessing this little dude here is Tom. He has a potty mouth. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm already starting to kind of get a few bad... whoa! Okay, I'm not sure if that was just... my controller... Yeah, suddenly, uh, I... <laughs> that was odd. Um, suddenly, like, I just could not stop moving in that direction. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I guess what would be called a dual joystick shooter, except for I'm using mouse and keyboard. Let's way to the mine entrance. Yeah, I think that way's out, so uh, let's go deeper in. Okay, um, controls are a bit odd. Like, yeah, um, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, when you press, uh, here I'll show you, like, this is me just pressing up. This is me just pressing down. And then when I press to the side, like, uh, the same, you know, the side I'm, yeah. Let's say I hit right and up at the same time. Yeah, it goes fine. But let's say I start going in, you know, up and decide I want to start strafing. It kind of goes a little slow, it feels. Like, it's, it's more of like a gradual movement. That eventually looks like it kind of turns around. I don't know, I, I don't like that. I, it feels, just feels kind of odd. Uh, whoever stacked these barrels, please get rid of them. Okay, um... Middle mouse button, plus left mouse button, okay. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Got kind of a melee attack. Um, animation's pretty stylish. Uh, I like the, um, oh dear. Yeah, um, I like the, uh, oh, saving, a little floppy. I, I like the, um, art design in this. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Torchlight, actually. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I rather enjoy Torchlight. Um, you know, it's kind of a Diablo 2 esque sort of deal. And I'm kind of getting that from this, only with joystick, a dual joystick shooter mixed in. Now it looks like we got our first enemies. And I'm starting to kind of see what I might not like so much about this game. Combat feels kind of slow. Um, that is, of course, judging off of the very first attack. And I am out. Is there a reload? No, I'm just out. Okay. Um, yeah, not too blown away by this right now. Um... I don't know, I, you know, dual joystick shooters and things like that, you kind of figure usually come with, uh, no entry, huh? No, I guess not. Um, usually come with infinite ammo for your bullets. Not to mention that this seems to be, this is your left click. Am I missing something? Is there a reload button? Uh, let me take a look. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, currently not wheelchair accessible, so... Okay. 
So jumping, they did say something about there being platform mechanics in this game, which I'm never too crazy about in an isometric view. That's just kind of a personal preference thing. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite feeling this. Controls feel a little off. Um, did I miss something? Was I supposed to see something that happened there? Artwork looks nice. Music is kind of minimalistic, but, you know, not bad. You know, everything, you know, sounds like it should sound. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's weird. I, Since the swing is slow, I don't want to approach, you know, just absentmindedly. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got... See, it's like everything is based around, you know, shooting, but I don't have any bullets. Oh, I just realized something. There's a pause thing up here. I'm starting to think this is meant to be an Android title. Like it started development as that. Um, and honestly, if this was a free-to-play Android title, good on them. I mean, this actually would make a pretty good free-to-play, you know, little you know, game, just have fun with, that sort of deal. Um, let's see if I can go in here. Where does this lead? Nowhere, it's just kind of a, something I can get hung up on. Oh well. Um, you know, it, it's, it's definitely not the worst dual joystick shooter I've played. Um, in fact, it's miles better. <laughs> okay, yep, now I got bolts, um, which I am guessing is that. Okay, yep. So, it looks like uh, preserve ammo. Um, use melee as much as possible. Yeah, I don't know. In case of emergency, break lone crystals. That's the first aid station. Good to know. Okay, so breaking the glowing crystals, that's health. Standard. Maybe bullets are more plentiful outside of the opening areas, in which case I can pretty much forgive nearly everything. Uh, oh! Oh, I wonder if there's like a crafting element, like, uh, you know, puzzles where you have to shoot things. That'd be kind of cool, I could dig that. Okay, saving. Yep, now we got ones that shoot at us. Okay. Yeah, the shooting action's actually relatively fun. I like that. Loads more than oops, level up. I like that loads more than melee. Melee seems just kind of sluggish. Um, and the fact that the weapons level up is kind of neat. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to find some glowing crystals. I'm thinking there's some. Um, I wish the movement back and forth was a bit less stiff, I guess would be a word for it. There we go. I've been playing Wild Star and I keep wanting to hit V to pick up everything. Um, you know, action seems pretty good. Again, controls could use some work. It is an alpha, you know, I can't really, you know, <laughs> I can't complain about the controls too much. Um, I'm assuming, like, you know, they're listening to feedback and stuff. Uh, but in this build, yeah, it, see, I almost fell off a ledger there. This build is pretty sluggish. I mean, I could see this being really awesome, you know, if it's more frantic. There we go. What happened? Oh, my... Oh, wow, damn. Okay. There we go. Uh, due to our recent insect problem, the switch had to be moved out of the reach. Okay. Yeah, so now we're kind of seeing little puzz uh, puzzle elements. Uh, that's kind of cool. 
Oh, I got a schematic. Hmm. Uh, I only got two bullets. Hazardous area, move fast to avoid injury. Okay. Might as well grab some health on here. There we are. You know, I wonder. Can I just avoid avoid it entirely? No? Worth a shot. Alright. See what's up here. Ah. I mean, I get the melee is probably slow to encourage using the bolt gun more, but I don't know. I'm not sure how crazy I am about that. There we are. Have more stuff. Come on down here. Get some health. guys I should just take out with melee weapon. There we go. Oh hey, what's this? It's a little different, doesn't it? Uh, treasure chest maybe? Oh, okay, the uh, schematic. Oh, I can make a blunderbuss. That's kind of awesome. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's build that. Um, let's go with uh, refill ammo. Okay. Uh, blunderbuss. How do I... Oh, okay, that's how you change weapons. Standard, one, two, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, let's, let's try it. Yep. That's a shotgun. And I died. Okay, let's, uh, try that again with less death. It'd be best to use. The hell? Oh, okay. Holding down uh, Q brings up that little, yeah, yeah. That that that's what it was saying. Yeah, Q I can choose. Yeah, choose what I want to use. That thing is gonna be a blunderbust. I don't know what just appeared down there. Ooh. Hey, 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 level two! Ammo, rate of fire. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm starting to kind of come around on this. Um, what is what is that supposed to be? That was worth the ammo. Okay. Oh, they're there. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. And I'm guessing, yes, that opens up something. So they have the typical enemy gates. Fair enough. Mechanic, I kind of like. Oh, damn. Hmm. Gonna get some health real quick. There we are. Perfect. Hey, you're safe. Um. There we go. Uh, I got another blueprint. 
I wonder if I have to go back or if there's... There'll probably be one up ahead. Yeah, again, the controls kind of make me nervous. Just the whole... Going across the bridge, it makes me feel like, you know, as I'm, I'm just going to fall off. And, yeah. Okay. Um, there's got to be something I can do with this, right? Oh, I can shoot it. I guess that's... Let's see, I was thinking I was going to have to, like, find a way to push this thing into the wall to continue, you know, puzzle elements. Crazy, right? Oh. Okay, so yeah, weapon upgrade. I'm kind of seeing that, uh, you know, weapon upgrades... Oh, wow, okay. Um, weapon upgrades are the uh, equivalent of leveling up, just kind of in general. A uh, little note to the developer if you do watch this. Uh, the um, scroll wheel. Use that to change weapons as well. It feels pretty natural to a lot of PC games. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I want none of that. Alright. Uh, let's see what that new blueprint was. A uh, harpoon gun. Well, that's kind of cool. Refill ammo. A uh, harpoon gun. Now, is this the typical sniper-esque sort of deal? Yep. actually get hit by those. Death awaits. Um, hmm. I guess it's kind of funny just uh, <laughs> breaking through everything to get to the uh, what I'm guessing is a boss arena. Okay, so four is the heart food. What do we have? Okay. Oh, okay, Spider Queen. You know, it's kind of typical in these styles of games to have a Spider Queen as like your first boss deal. Um, alright, sweet. Yeah, I'm getting the whole sniper vibe from the harpoon gun. Or at least slow, powerful, single-target attack. Um, and the standard, uh... Oh, dear. Oh, okay, get out of there. Um, there we are. Although the shotgun seems to be a little bit more suited to this fight. There we go. Um, all right. Um, you know, I, I, it is the first boss, so I guess I can't, like, complain too much about how easy it is, but, uh, I mean, I do like that she summons a bunch of little things. I also shouldn't complain about how easy it is when I am kind of low on health right now. Um, but she does drop. She does help. Anyway. Avoid the minions. Focus fire on her, run out of bullets, switch to a different weapon, almost roll off the ledge. You know, it's all in a day, day's work for Tom Sparks. Whoa! Okay, that was kind of close, actually. I think I got it. There we go. Ooh, what do we got? A uh, new blueprints and the way forward. Um, could be used with a little bit of crystals there, but uh, maybe there'll be some. Or maybe just more falling rocks. That's seldom a good sign.
Okay, what the heck are those anyways? Oh yeah, this is the uh, thumper, right? <laughs> oh god damn. Uh, that just got it a couple points to be honest. <laughs> Turn this up for me. Huh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's yes. Okay, that is everything. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna turn this down now. Um. Okay. So final thoughts. Um. It's not bad. Far from it. But there are a few things to look out for. Excuse me. Uh. One. This would make a great Android game, um, considering a lot of Android games seem to work well with kind of a uh, beat 'em up sort of standpoint. If it's not an Infinite Runner, anyways, you, you know how those. <laughs> um, but uh, as far as a PC game, it's pretty simplistic, um, but not terrible. It does have a few issues, especially with controls. Um, I like the leveling up your weapons idea where the weapons that you feel more comfortable with become more beefy, and more powerful. Um, I've always kind of liked that in video games. The art style is nice, it has its own little charm, it's cartoony without being overbearingly so, uh, and it, you know, it's lighthearted. Um, I like it. Uh, that said, I'm going to have to give this a, a yellow light, and now what a yellow light is, uh, keep an eye on it, um, wait until you get a more finished product before deciding for yourself, because this does have a few issues, like I said, the controls are a little sticky, um, a little sluggish at times, um, but it, you know, if they iron that out, it could be a great game, well worth your time. Uh, if they don't, uh, you might want to pass on it, but, you know, still pretty early in development, so, yellow light, yeah. Just you know, be, be a little careful with it, keep your eye on it. Anyway, this has been the Mayor of Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I'll leave a link below to where you can download this game for yourself if you wish to try it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that'll about do it for Tom Sparks and the Quakes of Ruin. Um, I do like how it's uh, Tom Sparks and then they have, like, a subtitle. Uh, I think they're planning on making this into a series, um, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Um, anyway, yes, they had a Kickstarter. It didn't go over so well, but they are still plugging away on the game, and good for them. So, yeah, anyway, this has been the Mayor of Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I'll see you next time on more uh, Steam Light Red Light. <laughs> Steam Light Red Light. Uh, I'm not editing that. Whatever. Have a good night. <laughs>